Okay. It should be zooming out as we, like, laugh David, at each other. I was going to open it and then turn fucking... That's awful. That's stupid. My idea was... Hello, that. and welcome to the Illumination Cinema Movie Podcast. I'm Tyler. I'm Chris. I'm David. And uh, today, we're talking about a special film uh, by the name of... <laughs> Great the intro. name of the Star Wars Holiday Special. So, guys, um, first of all, let's talk about a little something. We all like Star Wars, right? Yes. Um, so, the, the that begs the question, have any of us seen the special before? I yes. have not. One at a time, please. David. I have not. I have you seen never. anything from it? No, not even once. Or okay. at least I was under the impression that I hadn't. Okay. Chris. Yes, one time. You watched it all the way through? No. Okay. I got to um, the uh, like that, that about a third of the Wookiee talking. And I was like, okay, yeah, you're I'm, done. Got the idea now. Off. Same here. Yeah. Um. It was rough. But yeah, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we um, you know, I uh. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we, we, we have cameras on us right now. Uh, yeah. I think we haven't addressed that fact properly. Oh, yeah. Um, Hi. So, yeah, Hi. I Hi. Uh, decided to uh, make my way down to Texas, and uh, specifically for this, no other reason. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no other very important reason. No, nothing. No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Um, so, you know, now that we are here, we've watched the movie on a nice... Beautiful rainy day, uh, dark and stormy night. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think of the Star Wars holiday special? If you don't mind my starting, um, I will say that I started off saying no, I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe about a maybe about a fourth of it I probably have seen, given the fact that there was a uh, recycled footage. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh my God! Yes. Oh yeah, that was. And I we'll, noticed right away. So we'll get we'll get into the uh, all <laughs> of that. Um, I just thought I'd lay mention of right. That. Yeah. Um, how about you, Chris? What did you think of the Star Wars holiday special? I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> again. It, it, again, yeah, it didn't work. There's a scene early on in the in the. Uh, I, I feel terrible calling this a film. Uh, in this television special that uh, mm -hmm. is only aired once for good reason, um, there's a scene where uh, Chewie's Chewie's son uh, Lumpy uh, Lumpy Baca, um, he's he like he for no reason. Er, nothing happens for a reason in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> um, he, he, he walks out in, outside of the little the little treehouse and uh, he starts like climbing up on this railing. We we're all we we're all screaming, uh, "Go ahead and jump, jump!" <laughs> jump. Just in this movie. I, it, honestly, if it if it that was like five minutes in, if it was like five minutes long and the rest of it was just a black screen, I think I would have been like completely okay with that. Yeah. Um, that part there, yeah. Usually, like when somebody's like on top of the railing, you say, "Don't jump," but this was like. Do, do Total it. opposite. Yeah, do please it. do it. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, actually, there's actually many moments in there where I was hoping that somebody actually would just get killed. Something would happen in there so that I can be like, oh, thank God, something else has happened here. Nothing happened at all. It was just Wookiees talking. And... Let me describe the three plot points of, the, okay. of this film. Good. Um, so uh, we, we learn opening scene, right? Uh, that's very important in, in making the story. <laughs> you know, an uh, intro in, in a narrative structure. Yeah, you uh, you want your opening scene to give people the idea of what's going to happen. That's that's generally the the goal of an opening scene. And um, so we have um, Han Solo, who is is played by Harrison Ford. Uh, we have Chewbacca, who uh, you know Peter Mayhew took time out of his busy schedule to do it. Um, and they're on like this uh, Millennium Falcon like playset, uh, going towards uh, Chewbacca's home planet of Kashyyyk uh, for Life Day, which is uh, you know uh, their bullshit holiday. Uh, as we know, Christmas is the only one that matters. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is actually a war on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I really with felt the life that day. way as well. Um, 
Yeah, CBS. No, yeah, not. It doesn't say on a Christian broadcast station. Yeah, yeah, that no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. No. Yeah. Um, I'm confused now, but all right. <laughs> what? what did you, you thought it stood for that? Yeah, of course. Well, ABC stands for American Broadcasting C- Christian. Yeah. <laughs> American. Duh. What, Christian? Well, because he's like, what, like, two channels? Just AMC uh, uh, stands for American Movie Christians. Yeah. That makes so much more sense. Which is why they are Breaking Bad and uh, Walking God. Dead. Right. This is the point where everybody turns off the t- their, their YouTube. <laughs> breaking Bad is all about breaking the bad of... Oh, yeah, of, of Walter White and right. how he comes around. Yeah, uh, spoilers for Breaking Bad. He comes around and he finds Jesus at the end yeah. of... Um, and uh, uh, you know, repents for Because Je- Jesus for says, yeah, knock and the door shall be answered. And he said, I am the one who knocks. Is that right? <laughs> Also, he dies at the end. <laughs> oh, is that right? There we go. In case you guys are wondering. <laughs> Spoiler. And then he goes to heaven. Meth heaven. What were we talking about? Who cares? So, oh! Oh, yes, no. the very important things that happen in this... Han uh, Solo. Han Solo. Uh, we Okay, so uh, they're on their way to Kashyyyk for life day. And uh, that's that's our first uh, plot point. We then go to Kashyyyk, where Shui's family is. Uh, lumpy, itchy... Scratchy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, itchy scratchy show. Um, <laughs> uh, Ren and Stimpy, <laughs> um, Scooby Dooby, <laughs> um, Scrappy, Scrappy Doo, yeah, yeah. Um, the whole all, gang. They're all yeah. The whole gang's there. Uh, Shaggy. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're there waiting for Chewbacca to show up, um, and people keep calling them on their screens, including Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher. Uh, C-3PO, who doesn't have an actor because he's a real robot. Um, R2-D2 is a real robot. C-3PO is actually... Uh, no, uh, R2-D2 is a midget. Oh, yeah. No, we call them little people. Uh, well, he's... We call, we call them elves, actually. Well, what we should really, this is for Christmas. Well, what we should really call R2-D2 is a casket because that guy's dead now. Oh. Look, I didn't even think. <laughs> Look at that one. That one. <laughs> um... <laughs> So there's this great part in there I loved so much where uh, they reused the little hologram disc in the from William Falcon, and of course they had like some like Cirque du Soleil wannabe, the poor man Cirque, Cirque du Soleil, oh, and they're just like doing over on a blue screen, just the, onto this, the uh, quote unquote cat in the hat Star yeah. Wars oh, yeah. combo. Yeah, we're all waiting for uh, Mike Myers to show up. Of course, we would have preferred Michael Myers instead. Yeah, just come in. Just start and, murdering and everybody. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, it just said holiday special. You know, yeah. it didn't specify which one. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it should be uh, also called Nightmare Before Christmas <laughs> Part 2. Nightmare Before Star Wars. Nightmare Before Star Wars. <laughs> Nightmare, Nightmare Before, before Empire Life Strikes Day. Back. Yeah. This is made in 78, if you don't know. Like, yes. So a year after. A year after uh, uh, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know... They had three channels. Everyone's gathering around their TVs because it's you know family time. So yeah. no one wants to deal with that. Put everyone in front of the TV. Star Wars holiday special. Sell Star on. Wars. Yep. Yep. Let's get that fucking motherfucking Star Wars thing going because we are selling a shitload of toys. Mm-hmm. We need to keep that in people's minds. We're about to do a sequel. Come on, let's go. So we can throw, throw anything. What, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, uh, we got a couple Wookiee costumes. Throw those in. I don't care. We got, we got some, about we got, eight of them. We got some bloopers from Star Wars with those in there too. Yeah, we got uh, we use a, footage. A, probably a failed Star Wars animated show pilot. Throw that in there. I don't care. Just fill, just fill up this fucking stupid thing and only spend money on two segments. Yeah. All the money. Uh, yeah, all the money. Which one was the... Besides the money that was on the uh, You yeah, were noticing which ones actually actually had a budget to them. There's was two the, of them. There's the Kashyyyk set mm-hmm. and then the uh, Cantina set. Yeah. Which was and the then, canti- was the Cantina set itself reused? I know the costumes. I don't know. Yeah, the costumes were definitely it reused. It looked like the introductory scene was reused. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was, um... I didn't. I didn't know if um, the like, cause yeah, like the the footage leading up to yes, the, yeah. that scene was uh, was footage from the original film and a couple uh, shots that weren't in there. And the guys that were playing uh, that playing music in there actually were using, of course, using the same same oh, yeah, song. They never it's all, song. Yeah, it's the same song every time. <laughs> never changes up. Dun 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 dun. Like 
and they're like, and they're like, they stop and I'm like, okay, so maybe put another, another play, play a new song, whatever. And they're doing it again. And it's slower. And oh like, yeah, because oh. yeah, then uh, B. Arthur does her musical number, yeah. which is uh, oh, maybe the second best part of the 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 whole thing. The second best. Oh, I was thinking something else. Which was like a best. Uh, what? Okay, so here's a good question. Let's let's be a little bit positive for a moment, because yeah. you know. We're 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 a podcast that uh, takes pride in our uh, how positive we are about movies. So, uh, what is your favorite part of the Star Wars Holiday Special? I like the part when they covered up Mark Hamill's face with uh, every smoke bit of machine. smoke machine and all this makeup. They look, yeah. they said it looked like David Bowie. Right. Um, I was not hundred percent sure it was Mark Hamill until like he started talking. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's dubbed over. Who knows? <laughs> I um, My. I, I said that. Uh, it was a little boy wearing a Mark Hamill mask. <laughs> yes. This was clear. This was clearly post accident. Yeah. Um, kind of all those like the scars from the. Because yeah. the first thing that happens in Empire is that he gets mauled by a beast. Right, and that's why he's like, "Oh, look, he's injured now. It's yep. fine." Yeah. Um, I was gonna say <laughs> that my favorite was definitely the uh, Jefferson Starship appearance. <laughs> that was mine too. Yep. Because you could tune out during that yes. long yeah. enough. Long enough. To... And it also just looked like they got. A unused like Jefferson Starship, uh, Jefferson Starship, uh, a music video and just slapped it on. Yep. Yeah, we're actually wondering if like they just reuse a concert footage of them, right? And just like cut them out or whatever. And uh, you mentioned uh, throwing on foil on these on the microphone. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, uh, just to make it look more Star Warsy, they like added just a little bit of material onto the microphone and made it look like a lightsaber. It's like purple lightsaber, mm -hmm. well before Mace Windu. <laughs> he had a guitar, right? That he was playing, I think. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> also <laughs> like the, weird, also the most like... odd part about that whole segment is the fact that um, you know, <laughs> the weirdest part is they would cut to reaction shots of the people watching oh. because a lot of the a lot of like the little special segments in the uh, it, throughout the whole thing like were just people watching things on televisions. Right. In the, in the Wookiee household, and they have a shitload of screens. Yeah, there was a part in there where we weren't 100% sure that it was Katina stuff, right? They were like, they were watching a Katina scene, but we couldn't tell if it was like a TV show or if they were the watching real life. Because here's the thing, here's how, here's how it was set up. Uh, they start watching the, the uh, Cantina stuff. Right. Uh, then a message comes up on their Commodore 64 uh, saying that uh, it's it's one of the Empire guys are saying, yeah. like, oh, we're doing like sure this it is. mandatory <laughs> shutdown. Um, curfew. And, yeah, it was a curfew. And, um... She got the details right, Tyler, please. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, the cantina, so, like, that, but that message came up on the cantina screen as well. So right. we're thinking, oh, this is happening at the exact same time. But it goes back to that, and they're watching it. Right. So... Straight through the screen. It's their version so of reality So what the fuck TV. is happening? <laughs> this reality TV, I guess, for them is actually real TV. Yeah, Truman it was like show. the Star Wars Truman Show. Yep. Pretty much. Starring B. Arthur. Yep. Yep. Starring B. Arthur. She was the star of the entire thing. <laughs> we we wondered also, uh, like, how many of these special guest stars did they, like, approach with, hey, do you want to be in Star Wars? Like Diane yeah. Carroll. <laughs> yeah, like Diane Carroll. <laughs> yeah. You want people to remember your name in 40 years? <laughs> did they? Oh, man. We didn't. I actually had to ask, like, oh, well, it's that one lady, uh, what's her name? Uh, Diane Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Carol. Um, yes. There's this great part in there, she's, like, singing, and they're doing, like, these weird, like, fades between, like, her shots, and it's, like, this part, like, where, like, uh, one one shot of her is, like, sort of, like, it's also, again, like, all jittery or whatever, and, like, another shot of her is coming in. The because frame. they had to slow it down. Yeah, so, yeah, slow it down, whatever, so it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> like, we're, they're, they're, like this was probably this might have been shot on video. Probably. I don't yeah. know if that was. I bet it was. If it was TV, that was probably video by then. Maybe. Mm, maybe. I, think, I feel like that might have been the eighties, though. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Um... They were they were definitely uh, uh, trying new things out there with special effects. Ooh. I feel like it was very um, Doctor Who liked because of like. How crappy the effects were. God, the, oh, so there was one the part where effects. I was I was calling out um, the, the, Diane, the Diane Carroll scene. So like some footage looked at it, like it was out of focus. Oh yeah. And um, when it was it up was, close. Yeah, yeah. There was like there was like it was like superimposed. There was like a, a close up, and then there was like a 
a further, like a, like a medium shot version of her behind her. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, man, that looks, that just looks so weird. And then, like, as that faded away, we realized that it's the medium shot superimposed over it, just close, like, just zoomed as up. Zoomed, yeah. 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 Ugh. Bad. <laughs> I like how you were able to call exactly which one it was coming up as soon as um as soon as we saw the kaleidoscopy effects <laughs> in the very beginning as a uh, was it itchy who put on the helmet you think i fucking know their names scrappy <laughs> each, each scrappy yeah scrappy do was it's a little one no it was the, the no one. no yeah because uh what's his stupid name uh, is it harvey corman or is it harvey corman or art carney Whatever. <laughs> who cares about him anymore? The guy who needed identification. Oh, yeah. yeah he did. Every time he... Oh, man. That must have been, like, improvised right there. He was just, like... You, you could tell he was turning into, like, the Rodney uh, Dangerfield thing where he comes no respect. in. He just starts riffing. He just, like, he yeah. comes in, but he doesn't know how to. Yeah. How'd be, how be more funny? Riffing about as well as I could riff. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, because he comes in, and uh, he, like, comes up to the... To the, the, the uh, Grandpa Chewbacca, and uh, like he's sitting in this like weird like salon chair with the like early VR. Right. And, I was trying to think uh, of it was like looked like uh, something from what was that uh, Jim Carrey movie? Like he gets like his his mind erased. Oh, oh uh, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh, still haven't seen that. Oh, I was hoping that actually happened to me when I was watching the thing and uh, just erase yeah. it from my well, that's, memory. That's a good movie. Good. Uh, so we don't. Uh, so can't we're compare gonna, them. We're not going to talk about that on this. <laughs> um, mind evaporator. Yeah, that's, a, that's what it's called, mind evaporator. Okay, so yeah, he uh, he comes up to him in that and gives him like this little disc, and he's like, "Oh yeah, put this thing in." Whoa! And we're just thinking, this is this is this is fucking porn, isn't it? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Diane was... Diane Carroll comes in and like just straight on like starts talking to him. And uh, like say, like he like whispering sweet nothings to Grandpa Munster over there. He's like, oh, and, I'm the only uh, voice. I'm the voice in your ear. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm yeah. here for And we're you. thinking like, you know, it's just like her upper half, and like she's like wearing this like this like strapless dress. And we're thinking like, and like oh. her hair kind of covered up like the strap that she had right here. She had one strap on. Oh, either. did she? Okay. Just her hair covered it up. I couldn't tell either for a while. I was, I was like, like, oh, okay, well, uh, this is no longer for children. I was like, uh, do we need to? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, David. Oh, David, <laughs> Wait, save boy. our youngest. Yeah, save our youngest. <laughs> um, I definitely, I definitely felt very uh, disturbed all of a sudden when she was like, "I'm here talking just to you. It's just us." It was very like. I, but there, I felt, there were there were there were two. <laughs> <laughs> there were like two porn segments in this thing. I guess that right there, and the guy when the guy walked in with the porn stash. Oh, oh yeah, yes. oh, dark yeah. helmet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark helmet. Yeah, one of the space and balls. His compatriot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, one of the few uh, '70s porn stashes in uh, the Star, in Star Wars, Wars universe, yeah. I believe. And, and I, it was like Biggs from. Yeah. <laughs> episode four. Yeah. <laughs> After oh, you man. said it was one of the few, I remember, uh, I remember saying, "Well, you didn't watch enough '70s porn if you think that's the only." <laughs> yeah. In Star Wars. In Star Wars. Star Wars naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were really thinking a lot of the time how this would be about a million times better if it had a laugh track under it, because <laughs> you know. Or subtitles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, like for the first third of the, of the movie, it's basically it really just what he's talking, with and there's no subtitles at all. It's like they're like, she's like watching a cooking show. Mm -hmm. It was like the Julia Child type thing, or whatever, with some mm -hmm. uh, with the guy in blackface, yes. by the way, in blackface, mm -hmm. who blackface. looks who looked cross dressed in blackface. This, this was a lot like uh, D from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia <laughs> doing yeah. blackface. Um, think about like blackface though; it should have gone away by seventy eight. You'd yeah, think, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it should have really. Because, like, you know, you think about uh, movies like Blackface and it was, like, the silent era. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, we've passed through uh, now, you know, the civil rights era now. Now, now we're on to like, uh, Song of the South. Uh, that's about the level of racism we're at in yeah, Texas. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, what year was that? It's sort of matching up with Red Holiday Special. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it was probably... Um, it was probably 
the, the same person. I was, like, I was expecting him to start singing Zippity Doodah in the middle of his cooking thing. <laughs> well, he didn't do it, though, unfortunately. It was very upsetting. Mm -hmm. Speaking of upsetting, we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back. Smooth as butter. Thanks, pal. We sure have been having a lot of fun talking about this shitty special tonight, but you know what would make it a whole lot better? Everyone's favorite character, Watto. If you're looking to put a little bit more Watto in your life, I recommend checking out the Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace novelization, Unabridged. It's a nine fucking hour audiobook about the best Star Wars movie featuring the best Star Wars character. Watto, that is. And guess what? You can get it for free by getting a 30 day trial with Audible through our special link audibletrial.com slash icpodcast. It's a free trial, free audiobook, free Watto. Doesn't get any better than that. And for even more Watto, check out the official Watto fan club at illuminationcinema.com slash Watto. There you'll find all kinds of great Watto pictures, fun facts, and just a bunch of great fucking shit. So that's audibletrial.com slash icpodcast and illuminationcinema.com slash Watto to satisfy all of your Star Wars needs. Where were we? Um, so we were talking... So blackface. Okay, so, so let me tell you now. It's not good. Don't do it. <laughs> PSA. <laughs> In the middle of the podcast. <laughs> we joke about a lot of things on this podcast, but blackface is not a joke. It has killed millions of people worldwide. Just like AIDS. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that in there. Wait. <laughs> That's being thrown out. <laughs> Just like AIDS and 9-11. Speaking of all these segments, by the way, I... I, I, I was just, I was very confused as to why, like, were any of these things supposed to be entertaining us? I, yes. I hoped so. I mean, it was mostly nonsensical scenes just kind of sewn together, well, like, like, let's, you know, well, cause like, okay, let's so, you know, thing. I, you know, I, I assume they thought we were supposed to enjoy the Wookiee story. Hmm. But, like, they, ha you know, they have all these segments, like, the Wookiees are watching things on their TV. Like, are we supposed to be entertained by what they're watching, or are we supposed to be watching them be entertained? Yes. Yes, is the yes you all. Yes, you all. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a Wookiee in their normal life. But, is it? I mean, I think that it didn't really depict any sort of... Uh, Wookie normal life, um, especially given the western interior of their home. Yeah, you pointed that out several. Like, the, like they just had like shelves that looked like they were straight from IKEA. <laughs> like, so, so, so little stickers on there, like you know, A B C. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the English computer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, these these uh, these Wookies are. Um, Receiving a video call was it? Yeah. Like, well, they're 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 going through the whole thing, like we said. Speaking Wookiees mm -hmm. and uh, like no subtitles, yet their computers have English text. One of the, the few remaining things in Star Wars that does have English text, because mo even the, the, the first film had stuff on there but was replaced by just nonsense. High Galactic. Yeah. Uh, nonsense. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, we, we thought it was really weird, like, why are they making us suffer through this, uh, just through noise? <laughs> Instead of, like, if they know English, just speak English, or have English subtitles somewhere. But I remember, uh, either you or you brought this idea of, like, in Star Trek they have, uh, Klingon, which is actually a language. That was you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, actually it's a language you can learn and know all the alphabet and all that stuff. So someone but, has to go through and decipher. <laughs> yeah, for there's a minutes. syntax somewhere. I'm waiting there. for yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to get like the the fan, fan sub of this thing. I'm, and then... I'm suddenly reminded of uh, the structure of um, the squirrel language in uh, Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> squeaker, squeak, squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> However much well, you can really decipher that yeah. as well. You know, like maybe four syllables that they have and. Jeez, <laughs> um, like. So on the same note is like, are we supposed to be entertained by like the shows they're watching? On the Wookiee side, like, are we supposed to like feel Sympathize. something? Like, holiday wh joy, where, spirit. Where was the entertainment value in this in this 
special. It all went to Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford's budget. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 no, they're, they're, no, it went to Carrie pretty... Fisher's cocaine budget. Uh, we actually have a little. The nail. Yeah, we have a we have a photo. We had a <laughs> screenshot of. Uh, there it is. We, we found we found the coke finger. <laughs> but screenshot here. <laughs> yeah. Chris, uh, since you're the expert, please explain what a coke finger is. It's the thing you use to like, you know, the longer finger, the longer finger, and you and you crush it into the coke, and I guess you go, you sniff it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that what you do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This Tyler guy, this guy was like telling us expert. all about it while we were watching the thing. Yeah. Yes, I, I've done, I've done every, every, every drug, every all, coke, all, all, <laughs> every all, all, all the versions of coke. You don't, you don't know is. There's the white stuff, but there's also like other stuff you can There's use. like the cherry coke. The yeah, cherry coke, that's uh-huh. really good. Cherry, yeah. uh, uh, crystal coke. Crystal cherry coke is really good, yeah. 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 Uh, no, that's crystal Pepsi. Who gives a crap? <laughs> it all tastes the same. All tastes the same. It all smells the same. Oh, God. <laughs> it all rots your teeth the same. <laughs> when we, you were talking about wanting to be, you know, either entertained by what they were watching or, you know, some sort of... Anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, Please. anything you could... Um, I wondered, too, why it was so very inorganic, the communication between, you know, the screens and what we were supposed to be watching, where it, the story it, would transition. It felt very disjointed. It really... It, it, it honestly felt like... Like, maybe the Wookiee stuff had direction. Like, definitely, I believe because these are the two scenes that had budget to them, the Cantina scene and the Wookiee stuff, those are the two things that were shot first, and then okay. they were like, "Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna superimpose something onto onto these little elements, and we'll figure that out later." And I like, you know, like the like the cooking thing, they're um, the disappointing Cirque du Soleil. The, little... Yeah, the, well, like, like that stuff. I feel like that's just an act that they do, like like Jefferson Starship as well. Like the, yeah. they just like said, "Go perform your thing." With like the the, sp- the stuff that's supposed to be comedy, like the cooking show, the oh, instructional yes. video, like I feel like they just gave them a couple things, put them in wardrobe, and said, "Go, go. yeah, like just, just you know you don't what? Think it was scripted at all. I I honestly feel like it was completely improvised, but they didn't like get improv actors. Okay, that makes more sense because I was wondering, uh, I was wondering when you said that if whether. That would make any sense given the fact that, you know, I mean, they seemed like they, they were pretty determined on their track, each of them. There wasn't any fluidity to it. Right. It, well, it just, it felt like... Mu- <clears throat> much like God the, bless you. Much like the Wookiee stuff, it, it just, it felt like complete nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it felt like there was nothing, like, the, you know, at least the cooking thing had a joke. Like where like he's he's uh, doing the, the the stirring thing like that was you know he, that was supposed to be funny, but his hair um, like his hair's coming apart and all that. Well, yeah, he's, yeah, but like the, the the funny part about it was like you don't even notice at first that he has like a third arm coming out and also starts stirring, and yeah. like we were, we like when we noticed that we kind of laughed a little bit. Right. But like it, then it went on for like you know forty five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it went on for probably minutes. Yeah. You, know, you, know what this, you know what this all needed, though? Laugh track. We yeah. talked about that. Did we talk about that already? Yeah. In the podcast? We already, yeah. yeah. Oh, that Just a little bit. My bad. It was touched on once, and then we mentioned the subtitles thing, so you're oh, okay. good. Yeah, you, uh, you, you jumped okay, no. right onto the subtitles. Uh, okay. Well, no, like I mean, like right here, especially this part, I need a laugh track, because all you need here is... <laughs> right. Maybe at least for the, yeah, the comedic cooking show segment. Yeah. Right, yeah. Anything. This, this, like, may, maybe, you know, also, maybe there was a laugh track, but it was, or like... cut to audience. Well, yeah, cut to their reactions of, <laughs> yeah. uh, of the uh, Stormtrooper reacting to Jefferson Starship. Yes, exactly. Um, right, re- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, maybe there was a laugh track, and, uh, you know, it, it got lost along with the sound where, uh, Harrison Ford knocks the gun out of the <laughs> Stormtrooper's hand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's missing sound effects in this show. There's all over the place. Yeah, you know, like he, like he used to usually hear like a, a smack, or whatever, like, like a little thud, whatever. And like all you, hear, all you saw was just like did they, did they make it like in a month? 
Like, that's what I'm wondering. Like, if they, like, no, seriously. Like, if they just, like, slapped it together, like, a okay. A month ago. I mean, this was shot in, like, a week. <laughs> At the most. This is shot, like, two days. This is, like, literally, they turn the camera on, and they have, like, three cameras set up, probably, and they're just... We have five minutes with Diane oh. Carroll. Go. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, yeah, like, I, I, we, we wondered, like, if this was just, like, backstage before some sort of concert. Like, if this was a warm-up. Yeah. And, like, they just said, hey, doll, want to be in Star Wars? And, like, she was like, ah, all right, well, that's popular. Maybe kids will like me. And uh, she starts, you know, just uh, talking sexy to little babies. <laughs> to the little children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not the first time. I guarantee you, like, during, like, the writer's meeting, whatever, whatever you want to call that debauchery, whatever you want to call that stuff, uh, <laughs> they're like, guys, this is going to be a classic in, like, 30 years. We're, people, we're, th- we're, we're, we're going to th- have saying this that. We're... on television, and 30 years are going to watch this, watch Peanuts, they're going to watch the Rudolph special. Well, yeah, that's everything. what we were wondering the whole time. Like, did the people, was, were the intentions 100% cynical? Let's milk Star Wars for everything it's worth. we got to keep it in the public eye. Like, we've got a sequel coming out in, like, you know, four years. So let's, let's get it going. Or were let's they make it beautiful? Or <laughs> let's make a beautiful, like experimental, very interesting thing about Wookiees and Life Day and like a, like a genuine Star Wars holiday special that you will watch alongside the Grinch, uh, the Peanuts special, like just like a holiday classic you'll watch every single year. Which which was it? Well, I'm inclined now to watch it every year, so. Given the track record that Lucas has had, I'm going to go ahead and just go on the side of that is mostly just malicious attempts. Cynicism? Attempt, just cynicism. Yeah, yeah just, just straight. I think it's actually a money laundering we just saw. Yeah, <laughs> was, I love that you said malicious intent instead, though. It's like he was actually looking to hurt us with what he has on the table. <laughs> he did not care. <laughs> Although I, 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 I 100% believe with all of my heart that... Wookiees with no subtitles was a George Lucas idea. <laughs> he said to do that. It was 100% him. He thought it was smart. He didn't think it was funny. He thought it was smart. And uh, he, he threw it up there while he was counting his uh, money in his bank account. Yeah, he was Scrooge with ducking like, through his, his oh, money. Totally. And then like they're like, Hey, George, would you like to... We got a holiday special? Sure, oh, why not? Or oh, whatever, or oh, whatever. Oh. Or whatever. <laughs> I should make Put that joke. I got, I got this going on. <laughs> Get some walkies on there. <laughs> Go ahead and make a few more walkie costumes. I'll run you from future reference. But no subtitles. Oh, so next, so next <laughs> my third Star Wars movie, which yeah. will actually be my fourth one. Which actually what, my sixth one as well. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you want, just, just make sure there's no subtitles. That's my only rule. <laughs> Uh, Carrie Fisher sings in this. Um, yes. Yeah, sure she does. <laughs> yeah, looking coked out of her mind. Um, and will be. I don't in think the it was her. <laughs> That's not the song, but. but I'm willing to bet it wasn't her. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it was, it was there was someone. Dubbed. There was someone who was dubbed. Well, yeah. There was someone who was dubbed while speaking the entire time for sure. Oh, yeah, okay. during that the, guy during with the, the hole in his head. Yeah, during the Gatina scene. Yeah, he's like drinking it, like his drink in his head, which is like his like his special thing apparently because he's yeah, alien. Yeah, because he's mostly human. Yeah. Well, because I think, you know, they're like, oh, well, like, he's like, I don't want to look like an alien. This is stupid. I like, make sure my face is in the, the, the sketch. I'm going to be a star. Uh, yeah, I want Star Wars to reignite my dead career. <laughs> and uh, so they just like, okay, whatever. Just give him a, like a volcano wig. And, <laughs> it uh, looks like the thing with like the science fair projects. It does. Wait yeah. for him to put the baking soda on there and just have it just <laughs> flow over. <laughs> that that would have been something. That would be kind of funny, I think, you know. Well, it would have been better than yeah. dump some liquid in his head. Here's some here's some Kool Aid <laughs> or whatever. Uh, that's what they serve at bars. It's Kool Aid. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've been all, I've been on the bars. Serve, Star Wars yeah, bars. Been have you been? Bar. Yeah, I've been. To have you been to the Moss Eisley bar? I have. So you don't. So you don't. Uh, uh, okay. It's all we're all the scum in the Recent in the Mos galaxy Espo. hang out. Which one is it, Moss Espo or Moss Moss Eisley? It is Moss Eisley. This is important. So, <laughs> what is your Jamie rating for the Star Wars? 
holiday special. <laughs> Can I get a David rating? It's even worse. <laughs> no. Let's just stick uh, with Jamie. Jamie rating. Um, I'll give it a two. You're going to give it a two? I'll give it a two. Well, it's because the Boba Fett stuff was actually, you know, drawn. Uh, yeah, and it looks <laughs> like... It looked like Harrison Ford... Harrison Ford's face was fucking melting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, I gave it a two because of the great makeup job they did on Mike Campbell. <laughs> they really doctored up those uh, ugly scars of his. I, you know, um, I, <laughs> I genuinely think like this wasn't this isn't even this wasn't even like funny to watch. Like I was, it was upsetting. I was bored. Like I was, I was full on bored you, while watching. You didn't this. feel attacked while I, watching it. I, I felt attacked. I, I came here to have a good time, and I'm feeling very attacked. This right wasn't now. like this wasn't like uh, watching like, the room or yeah uh, no. <laughs> well, no, like, just, like you watch the room. It's actually, it's actually entertaining oh, because yeah. it's so bad. That's why it's entertaining. It's actually it's actually a, it's a terrible movie, but it's like you know there's like, terrible movies. Tommy Wiseau is so just like like complete. Uh, also uh, cooked out of his mind with like Gary Fisher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind like of just like no understanding of how to act, how to direct. Like, well, hi, Mark. <laughs> yeah, like, just, like, his absurd line delivery. Like, that's that's gold. It's a gold mine of just, like, yeah. you're able to enjoy it. While or also Sharknado the, is another one of those. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that, that was pure cynicism. Uh, the, the lack of uh, good dialogue in this kind of takes away from that, then, given the fact that you have Wookiee, Wookiee, Wookiee. Dialogue, yeah. Yeah, well, like, something like Sharknado is, like, they... The, the, it's made by, you know, uh, like, fuck you, give me your money productions, like, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, so what's your Jamie rating, David? My Jamie rating, because I took it very personally, all the torture that I received uh, is going to have to be probably a 0 0.2. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to go ahead and I was going to give it uh, a 0.5. Um, okay. So... Because I, I'm, I, 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 like, our worst rated movie on our, into, throughout our entire show's lifespan has been Jack, which I believe has one star, and I gave it two stars. Because oh, the Blake, movie Jack? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh... This... I was more entertained by this movie than Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad, that's how bad Jack is. I, let's give you a, a frame of reference how bad Jack is. I remember watching it in my childhood, and I don't remember... How well, good don't, it was. Again, don't yeah, watch don't. it again. Um, if you want to watch a movie about somebody that, like, you know, age changing, whatever crap, just watch Big. Yeah, watch Big. It's oh, okay. a better movie. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a lower rating than Jack. Uh, the lowest rating I've given so far, I believe. Yeah, I don't think I've given a point five before. So, uh... Point three. Whatever that totals out to is what we're going to, uh... Because the average. Okay, yeah. so there's a two... There's point five and point two. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. It'll be on the website. <laughs> Here's the number. Yeah. They hear the little, little sparkles <laughs> around it. Number above. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> the same idea. <laughs> and then with the same sound effects. <laughs> All right, everyone. I, I I believe that's it. Do we have any final thoughts on uh, the Star Wars Holiday Special? Or? No. I just need to learn like where to put the gun to the temple and. <laughs> yeah. I just want to know, uh, real quick, if you guys caught the reason there was the recycled footage on Vader. That one little, like, clip that they uh -huh. had. I didn't really even get any sort of context with there that. There was no context. No context. Okay. Well, like, they, yeah. they were talking, I think he was just talking, because it's literally just the scene yeah. from uh, from the first Star Wars film. And it seems it's completely worthless. Yeah. Like, well, it might have something to do with why the, the stormtroopers come to their house. Oh. But that's about the best connection I can make. I can okay. make. And it happens like 30 minutes in between when that happens and then when they show up. So. Right. What's well, so funny is like if you watch the open credits, it actually says, you know, starring you know, Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. And, and it uh, says James Earl Jones as, as Darth, Darth Vader, Vader. But it's recycled. It's, it's archive track. Right. So it's like, is that really starring or is that just <laughs> like you're kind of place... Placing an old clip into this thing. That's, that's like what they did with Marlon Brando in uh, Superman Returns. <laughs> oh. I have. Wait. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, okay. Worry about it. <laughs> I'll explain it to you later. Okay. Well, that's it for the Illumination Cinema Movie Podcast Holiday Special. Uh, we will see you 
sometime next soon. Christmas. We'll see you next Christmas. <laughs> um, we'll see you next, next, next time yeah. in audio format. Yeah. Have a good day. That's it. Say bye. We did like we did like the, the old like uh, '80s '90s shows like <laughs> oh, as like music starts to play or not freeze frame. Okay, <laughs> we're done.